What's up folks? I am going to attempt a Swedish torch or rocket stove today. I was watching Broken Bushcraft on YouTube and he did his by drilling a hole. I'm gonna try another method I've seen where you split it four ways, or I guess two ways into four pieces and then take some material out on the inside and see if that works. If not, I'll go get an auger and I'll try his way of two holes. Um, tools, I've got my Bushcraft buck saw I made with Bushcraft Kelso this weekend. I've got two hatchets of different sizes, and then my whole pack full of goodies, knives, rope, fire starters, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to go down there and get either pine or tulip poplar, whichever looks better, but I know where some is down there, and then we'll bring it back up here and we will give it a try. Okie dokie. I went and got a nice piece of tulip poplar, cut it out with my bushcraft buck saw here. And I'm thinking the first thing I need to do is split it that way and split it that way so I have four pieces and then tie it together, or no, then take material off the inside and tie it together. I got my mini hatchet here, fits in my hand. I love this thing. Got it from John or at bushcraft at georgia bushcraft or bushcraft us on instagram he's really cool go check him out but um i want this to be precise so i'm going since instead of just hacking away at it i'm going to take it right where i want it there with that crack and put that thing in and it should perfect all right okay looks good before that comes all the way apart, I'll actually go ahead and about there and do it again. And that, there we go, perfect. Okay, now we have four pieces of nice tulip poplar wedges here. Now let's get them to where they fit together. I think that's how they go, maybe. It's a nice knot right there, but it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm gonna take these one at a time and start down here towards the bottom and just take the material out. All right, I cleaned out most of these. Um, I accidentally cleaned out the wrong side of one of them. But what I did is I took these fourths here and just took my hatchet because the knife work was going a little slow. So I took my hatchet and cleaned out that inner corner. Goes really well with this tulip poplar because it's so soft. And then I cleaned out these sides to provide airflow. because fires don't burn without air. Okay. Uh, now what I've got is, how does this go together? Let me see my pieces here. That right there is what I've got. Um, I think I may have taken too much material out of the inside, but it may still burn. So I'm gonna pull out my little oh, Mary Poppins pouch here. This is what I'm gonna call it, because it's got way too much stuff just packed full. And I'm gonna dig into the bottom and get my fire kit out, which takes up half the pack. And my fire kit contents are in this tough possum gear pouch. And I also need some bank line or paracord or something like that. Oops. 
dropped a knife. Um, it appears I don't have paracord. That's a real big problem. I'm sure I do somewhere on me, but I'm just going to, for simplicity, take out some one inch duck gorilla tape and set this aside. And then I'm gonna take my duct tape here and I'm gonna tape all these together at the bottom. I'm gonna do it low enough so that hopefully uh, it does not burn my Gorilla Tape off. It should be fine. Let's see here. I know you're saying, what, he's using Gorilla Tape. That's not bushcraft. This is bushcraft, not survival. And I'm not going to go into what bushcraft is, because there's a whole lot of strong opinions on that. It can be whatever the heck you want it to be. Go around a couple times here. And make sure it's going to hold together. And also hope that it's not going to... Uh, burn through my duct tape. I don't think it will. Should be fine. All right. Now that that's finished, let's get out the old fire kit and find something to put in there to burn. Um, fat wood, that's boring. Nah. I think I'll start it off with a fire plug and then I can adjust it from there. Add stuff. That's char cloth. I got so much stuff in here, it's hard to find what I want. Set this aside. And pull a fire plug out. I'm gonna break this up real quick. And then we'll get this going. Okie dokie. That ought to be enough to get it lit. Take off my wazoo buckle here and try and give this a strike. Hard to do without a thumb. There we go. Just gonna drop that fire plug in. And Hope that does the trick. Um, it's on fire, and I'm gonna find something to add to it. Just gonna hope that works. What else do I have in here I can shove in there? Fat wood. Sprinkle in a little fat wood. See if that works. There's a fire in it. I'm gonna tend it if it looks like it needs it and just let it burn for a while and I'll turn it back on if it looks like it's actually working the way it's supposed to. But, I mean, if anything, it does work. It's just a stove and you keep feeding it. But we'll see. Okie dokie. So it's working. There's nothing inside of that burning. It's actually working a lot better than I was expecting. That is solely the log itself burning from the inside out, just like it's supposed to. And I already have a cup of tea over here, but that doesn't mean I can't try and boil some water on this thing. Um, it's burning pretty fast, so I'm not sure if it's gonna burn long enough to do this. Um, I'm also not sure if I'm supposed to just set the cup up there or if I need to put my stove or... I'll figure it out as I go. So, let me pour a little bit of water in here. And I think I'll start just trying to set this right on top of the log. 
So far, it's not burning the duct tape. Oh yeah, there's enough oxygen getting to that. That is working just fine. The tape is not burning so far, so that's a good sign. Just gonna let that sit there for a minute, but it's working incredibly well. I'm very happy with this. Always wanted to try it, and this worked a little bit easier than I was expecting, to tell you the truth. Also happy with how my uh, bushcraft buck saw here performed. I made it at Bushcraft Kelso's intermediate bushcraft class, and um, he said let it dry before I used it, so I let it dry, and then used it to cut this round out of some tulip poplar, and it worked really well. Just like my rocket stove or torch here is. Let me bring the camera in so you can see. The water's already hot, not boiling yet, but it's hot, and the stove is still burning strong. So I'll turn the camera back on when it starts to boil. All right, it's boiling. First successful Swedish torch. Worked very well. Here's the tools I used. Lit it up with my wazoo bracelet here. It's boiling perfectly. Worked really good. <clears throat> All right, thank you for watching. My cup is at a perfect, just rolling boil. And first successful attempt at Swedish, Swedish torch. I've only tried this one other time and it was wet and dark and the wrong piece of wood and too small and hard and it was bad. It's wet outside today, but I cut into this tulip poplar and it worked just fine, obviously. Thanks for watching and thanks for the tips on the Swedish torch broken bushcraft.